Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel. And if you're here from Jessica's video, then a big warm welcome to you all. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be talking about my most used mods to represent disabilities in The Sims 4. Whilst Jessica is uploading the other half of this collab over on her channel, but I will let Jessica explain that. Hi, I'm Jessica. Once you've finished watching this video by Molly, come and watch the one on my channel where we'll be discussing why some people do want disabilities to be included in the base game and why other people don't. There are lots of thoughts, lots of opinions, let's run through them together. So recently there was a survey about The Sims 4, I think it was back in April now, that listed prosthetics as a creator sim feature that we would like to see in the game. And then there was also another option where you could input what you wanted in case it wasn't listed. And I know that this has been a long running discussion. Obviously The Sims is one of those games where you are playing with life and it's really, really important to represent your players. And so I know that people want disabilities in The Sims 4. So I thought I would record this video and collab with Jessica because who better to collab with for this and talk about some mods that actually allow you to represent some disabilities in The Sims 4. So these are not official. I do have to put this disclaimer out here. You do download these at your own risk. I have downloaded them myself. I have played with them. They all seem to be working a-okay at the time of recording. And I will also have a link down below that will link you to my Tumblr and a download list for all of these mods just to make it more clear for you guys so I'm not having like 50 links in the description. So we're gonna start off this video with actually custom content. So these are creator sim assets that represent disabilities in The Sims 4, but they don't actually have any gameplay element. They don't affect your sims moods. You can't interact with any objects. So these are just to use on your sim to try and get that representation that is currently lacking in the official game. So the first one is by Teen Moon. These are the blind eye overlays. And what I really like about this overlay is the fact that you can use it on one eye or the other, or both eyes. They come in three different variations of opacity. And also they are available for all life stages minus baby. So you can have these overlays for anyone ranging from a toddler to an elder in The Sims 4, which is really, really nice. I like how they have that inclusion of all the life stages. So this sim right here actually has the overlay on already. You will find these in skin details if you download them. This is actually the right one, but you need to download a heterochromia mod, which is linked on Teen Moon's page if you want the right eye. But the left eye is given by default, as is the two eyes. So as you can see, there are three shades of variation. You can also overlap these as well. So if you maybe want the right eye to not be as bad as the left or the other way around, you can actually stack these on top of each other. Next up, we have a cochlear implant by TNS. They do obviously state that in real life, the cochlear implant is magnetized to a magnetic receptor grafted in the head. Please keep this in mind when creating your sim. And what this means is because this is custom content, the official hair isn't going to work around this. So just keep that in mind when giving your sim a hairstyle. They'll probably have to have a shave head, side of head, to be able to see this cochlear implant. But this actually looks really, really good on The Sims. This is listed under accessories, so head accessories where you usually find piercings, glasses, and necklaces. I have just searched by custom content because I currently just have all of these installed. So this is what the cochlear implant looks like. It comes in four different colors. So there's a red variant, a blue variant, a kind of greenish blue, and then a black. Honestly, if you ask me whether this was official or custom content, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference because it sits really nicely on the side of the Sims head. You can't really tell that this 
this isn't official. Following on from the cochlear implant, we have hearing aids. This is actually my favorite one. There are a fair few hearing aids out there for custom content wise, but this one by Pancake Bob and Edit Sim is my favorite that I've tried. Again, I think it fits really nicely around your Sim's ear. And there's not only an adult one, but there is also a children's version as well. And they're also super duper colorful, quite fun for the kids. So I am a fan of these. So these are the hearing aids in game. I know it's a little bit hard to see because of the UI, which is a bit annoying. They also have like these two-tone variants, but fit really well on your Sims ear. Again, if you ask me if that was custom content or official content, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference because it is done so well and fits really well. Obviously, if you do start to move your Sims ear around, there will be a little bit of cutting. So you'll have to like play around to get like the best sort of fit for your Sim. But I think if you just use the default, like this one, yeah, that third default works really well. And then the last bit of CC under the head accessory section of Creator Sim is this nasal oxygen tube by Ivka, Ivka Sims, I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is available for both genders. It's listed under the nose ring category and it's also for teen through elders. So unfortunately no toddler or kids variant on this one. And just to quickly show you how it looks in the game, this is how it looks. I will say when your sim starts moving around a little bit, like if they smile, you will probably see a little bit of clipping in the cheeks but that can't really be helped. It's just the way that it's molded onto the sim. We have this prosthetic leg made by Clumsy Alien. Personally, one of my favorite creators in The Sims 4 and I didn't even know that they had a prosthetic leg under the CC catalog. This is really, really nice looking. It fits The Sims very, very well, but instead of taking my word for it, you can see it for yourself. There is also a male and a female version. This is only available for teens and above. So this prosthetic leg actually comes under shoes. That is one negative about it. Your sim actually has to be wearing these kind of boat shoes, would you call them? I don't know, plimsolls. So this is what it looks like in game. I did find, oh, it doesn't seem to be doing it right now. I found that with one of them, there is a little bit of, clipping so I would definitely say to use this one I think it just changes the shoes so really I would just use this one and stick with the no clipping so that you kind of can't see skin under the sock part of this prosthetic and then another one of my favorite CC creators for the Sims 4 QWERTY Sims actually did their own variation of a prosthetic leg accessory it's literally just a sock so it can be worn with shoes and tights freely so if you don't want to keep the same shoes on the other one by Clumsy Alien you can actually download this variant which means that you're freely able to put on shoes so let's check how this one looks in game. We'll remove this one for the time being and then let's go to QWERTY. The really nice bit about this one is that it comes in some natural skin tones and there is a range of skin tones on this which is really nice to see and then there are some like more colored variants if your sims would prefer that. So it's nice that there's the option. I'm actually just going to take that off so you can see and then if we go to shoes he should be able to put on any shoes over this prosthetic leg. And then last but not least for creator sim accessories for your sims, we have these knee braces. After I shared my finished prosthetic leg, someone in a sims Facebook group suggested I make knee braces and I thought it was an awesome idea. The first six swatches are both needs and seven and eight are the right, nine and 10 are the left. So once again, these are listed under the sock accessories and this is how they look in your game. So as you can see, those are both knees and then we have the left knee and then we have the right knee all the way around, but you catch my drift. You know what I was trying to say. And then moving on from Sims in Create Sim, we get to the animals. So if you have cats and dogs, I thought I would throw this in this video. This is a service dog clothing pack. 
This is so sweet and the fact that someone even thought of this is amazing. This is by Dark Pokemon 77 or Graveyard Party over on Tumblr. By a request, I have created a service dog clothing pack to share to the public. This pack includes a service dog vest, t-shirt, bandana and collar. So here we have our little service dog honey and then if we go to pet clothing and I'm just gonna filter this by custom content. The one thing is they aren't actually actually pictures. The vest is a picture so you can see that really clearly. So this is how it looks. I love this. I think it looks really realistic as well. And then we have the service dog bandana. We have the service dog t-shirt over here and then we also have the service dog collar for all of your service animal needs. This next CC is kind of a mix of both creator sim but also does slightly affect gameplay because there is actually an animation for it. So this is by Historical Sims Life and these are actually walking canes. So these are the canes that came with The Sims 3 but this person has actually converted them to The Sims 4 so your sims can now walk with a walking stick. I will say the animation can look a little bit funny at times, but let's hop into the gameplay so that you can actually see how this affects it. Once again, these are listed under accessories. These are listed as rings. And the creator actually said that version one, they created with The Sims in mind, and they tried to make it look as if when The Sim was walking, the walking stick would be in use. And then the version two is kind of them just holding the cane. I personally prefer version one. You can download both of these through their link. And then there are two different variants. There's kind of the more classic walking stick and then this one which looks quite fancy if you ask me. This is how the walking stick looks. So again not super realistic however it's definitely better than nothing right now and I also like the way how it doesn't fly around every Everywhere. but I'm sure if we go and talk to someone, let's go give a funny introduction to little Eleanor. So he is kind of waving it around here, there and everywhere, which is a little bit dangerous, I feel, but it is nice to see in The Sims 4. So just bear that in mind. Obviously, these are all custom content and the creators have tried their hardest. And I just really appreciate the fact that we can now have walking sticks in the game, even if every so often it can get a little bit dangerous. And on that same train of thought as the walking sticks, there is actually this white cane by Kazali. It kind of just attaches to your Sims hand and then when they're like stood idly or if they're talking to another sim, it can kind of fly around everywhere on the screen. So just keep that in mind. Know that that is an issue that will happen. I don't think there was any other way for this content creator to create this. So I just thought I would point that out to you before you go downloading it. Here we have Astrid walking with his white cane. Unfortunately, there's no specific animation related to this, but again, it kind of works the exact same way in game as the walking sticks. And finally, we have an animated base game rideable wheelchair by Necrodog. This one actually blew me away when I saw it. I couldn't believe that someone had managed to do this. Last time I made a video like this focusing on disabilities in The Sims 4, there were actually only a couple of wheelchairs out there and a couple of poses so that your Sims could sit in the wheelchair but they couldn't actually use it. Whereas this one, they can fully use this wheelchair. It does, however, work as a bike. So your Sim will actually wear a helmet it with it. There is a mod that I will also leave link down below in my list of mods that removes helmets. So I would suggest if you're getting this mod, I would probably also get alongside it the one that removes helmets just so it looks a bit more realistic in your game. And again, the animation on this is not perfect by any means, but the fact that this is even usable is a huge step in The Sims 4. What we are gonna do is actually buy case see a wheelchair so that you guys know where to find it. So if you go to outdoors under the objects by room section, you can 
actually see transportation and then here we have the rideable wheelchair that your sim can purchase for 40 simoleons an animated wheelchair by necro dog this comes in a couple of different colors so we have blue red yellow pink green and white so let's go for a red one let's match her outfit and we'll place this out here it does look a little strange right now it's kind of on an angle but then we will come and have her we'll have her ride it is called a bike not a wheelchair because obviously the animation was based on bikes from discover university but she is gonna sit in this and this honestly blew me away obviously the animation climbing into it is a little bizarre and like pushing your wheelchair using your feet is kind of just using the bike animation so you put push off with your feet when using the bike but this is what the wheelchair looks like like I said I will leave a link to remove the helmet if you don't want that they just unfortunately sims they really care about safety and they automatically wear a helmet in the sims 4 when they are riding a bike and because this is classed as a bike obviously the code doesn't tell the sim to do things any differently but this is how the wheelchair looks I am still in awe that this was even made like this custom content creator did such a good job so big thank you to Necrodog for this one and that about rounds up this video thank you so much for watching this video and a big thank you to all of the modders and custom content creators who make this stuff freely accessible to people who want that representation in their game I hope that this video opened up some new custom content for you if you didn't have it in your game I hope you you enjoy it and if there's any other custom content or mods that you believe is really good for representation of disabilities for the sims 4 please feel free to talk about it down below you guys know i love you guys chatting away with each other in the comments big thank you to jessica for collabing with me on this one as she said in the beginning please do go check out her video it's a really important topic and i'm glad that we're constantly having these discussions I hope that the survey kind of brings positivity to this and I hope that we can get it officially in the game at some point but please don't stop talking about it if this is representation that you want to see in your game let the sims team know let them know how much this would mean to you as a player of the game thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next video bye guys